Hi there, everyone. How's it going? It's a stock market video. I'm Ken and we're with Katrina. We are on the East Coast and in sort of the middle of the country, I guess, um, in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, we went to the Kentucky Derby last week. That was pretty awesome. Even though we weren't there that long, but we saw a, a lot of action there. It was a really good time. But we're here to talk about stocks today. Uh, Katrina, you own one of these stocks here on this list. Which one do you own? Uh, the Intuitive Surgical. Yes, you do. Just for now, yeah. You own Intuitive Surgical. And some reason you're sticking around with me, even though the advice I've given you right now is down 39%. <laughs> it's only worth about $300 right now. It's an option that you paid $490 for. And it's it's Intuitive Surgical for a $1,000 strike price. We think that they're going to get over 1000 before July 16th. So they had an okay day today. I mean, if you look at Intuitive Surgical, they're right here. They were up $14.63 today um, uh, to $8.57. They they've been kind of bouncing around a little bit, but that, that's a good sign. Um, they are they're, I do think they're going to increase due to all the backlog of surgeries and their novel uh, Da Vinci robot. I think robotic surgeries are going to become more of a thing because we're going to try to distribute healthcare all over the country and all over the world. And robotic surgeries allow people to do things remotely and do them the right way. So there's a lot of upside here. So we're just going to sit back and wait. I mean, that's what we do here. Uh, we're not really day trading with the stuff. We're going to sit back and wait. But uh, there's not a lot of action on your option yet. Do you know why there's not a lot of action on your option yet? Why, like a, like today, them going up $14.63 a share, you know, if they did that every day, they would be up at 1,000 in 10, 10 days if they did that every day. So why isn't your option moving a lot in price right now or going up? Why do you think that is? Um, because there's not any news going on, I guess. Like it's just kind of, Plateaued well, or even if there was news that brought them up a little bit today, there's no yeah. really big news, so that's true. But what mm -hmm. there's something about the strike price and where the share price is right now, the comparison between the two that has to that's driving why your option isn't doing a lot right now. So, what are they? What's the current share price of the company? Yeah. 857. Mm -hmm. And your strike price is. A thousand. A thousand. So there's a hundred and forty-three dollar difference between those two right now. That's ten times the movement that they had today, basically. That movement of fourteen dollars right here. So they're just too far away from a thousand for too many people to be interested in buying that option right now. The reason why we got it at such a low price with a company that'll move fourteen dollars a day like they did today is because this this is so far out. So we're, we're projecting that they're going to continue to do what they do here on their chart. If you look at their chart over 150 days, even um, as well, they're right here. We're expect see how this is this huge increase here over the last like 90 days. We think that this this kind of line like this is going to continue like this. And that gets them out up into a thousand before July, if you look at it that way. So we'll just keep an eye on it. It's down for now. It's at a discount right now. I'd, I'd suggest buying it. They're a good company. They're a profitable company. And for the reasons I said, I think they'll go up. So that's what's going on with Intuitive Surgical. We'll, we'll, we'll stay and pray there. Now, Tesla is a different story. So last video we did, do you remember what these two Tesla options were worth? These two right here? Do you remember what they were worth last video? Oh, uh, uh, the one we, we did together, I think they were about similar, right? No, no, th that's what they, we paid for them. Right now, they're only worth $245, but they were worth $2,000 like 10 days ago when we did that video, or eight days ago, I think. Oh, are you talking about the share price or the market The market value. value. The, oh, the, share, okay. the share price, you're right, is actually about the same as... Yeah. Well, actually, we did a video on Friday of... I think it was about a week ago, and... <laughs> or for Thursday or Friday, something like Thursday night. And they were up actually up at uh, the next day they were up at, I did a video. That's what happened. I did a video on Friday. We did a video on Thursday and they ended up going from 670 to like 700 a share that day. And that was a week ago. And these two were worth like 900 something dollars each. These things, these two together were almost worth $2,000. And then after that, over the past week, I thought the Tesla was going to go up this week. They ended up 
kind of being trading flat or going down about $20, $20 a share, basically. So these options drop dramatically. This is such a great example of the fluctuations in the volatility in options. Something that was worth 900 bucks last week is worth 200 this week. Something that was worth 800 something dollars last week or 900 bucks last week is now worth $41. These things are down tremendous right now. So should I be scared or should I be worried? I mean, what do we have here? What do we own here? What, what are these things? That's uh, expiring in uh, soon. Is that this week? Yeah, yeah, this one's expiring in seven days. That's what this expiration mm -hmm. date is here. So this is, and it's a strike price of $765 a share. That is $90 a share more than this. Um, and the other one is eight ten a share, but it expires in May 28th. So it has a little bit more time. The answer is I'm a little worried, like we might be losing this, but this is options, it's volatile and, and you take a lot of risk when you do this. But mm -hmm. here's the other thing. I think that Elon Musk is hosting Saturday Night Live tomorrow night. Um, that's uh -huh. gonna result in some media attention that he doesn't normally get through the regular news, people that will follow him regularly on their phone through whatever apps that they, news apps and stuff that they take in. Saturday Night Live is a different audience. I think that kind of press is going to help. The news has, has been kind of back and forth on Tesla over the last week, um, kind of some annoyances, but there were some good news. Like they have no more Q2 cars available. They've sold out of every car that they said they can make in Q2 already. I'm seeing more of them on the road. They're, they're just such a great company. I love them for a million reasons I always talk about. So I, I definitely think that it's going to be tough to make money on these options, it's very going to be very tough for this one that's seven days away. Really, what we should have done is sold them last week when we basically doubled our money in a day. Yeah. That, that's your that's your lesson about when you do double your money in the day, you just take it. You just take it and, and you, you cash out because a return like that is unbelievable. Right now, I'm losing 6% a day on this option and 10% a day on this option. Yeah. So well, we'll see, though. They, they can yeah. very, very easily <laughs> go up. 30 right. or $50 a share in a day. They do it all the time. Yeah. So, so when you look at them here and you see what they've done over the last 50 days or even the last 60 days, um, they've been kind of down a little bit or trading flat. But when they do have one of those big days, the option, this refreshes here in a second, this option will go from being losing all this money to even or even up a little bit. So it's going to be a very exciting week regardless. And it's just a mess, just a, a good lesson to show you how volatile and the fluctuations that can happen. Now, I sold the other option I had on them at a big loss, the one that expires June 18th. Even though it's a month and a half away, the strike price on this is just way too big at $14.50. This is one that I bought a while ago. So this is a loser. So we're just going to book this as a loser. And that's the way it is. Um, we're going to try to win more on the other ones to more than cover it. That's what we do here. And I'll be doing more day trading in the future also. So I'm offering a product for everybody who wants access to this information and wants to look at my master, master sheet here, which is this here, it's my data sheet. So this is what I use to analyze and make notes on all stocks and to figure out target prices. And so I'm gonna be, Sending this out as a subscription to anybody want. It's $500 a week. This is not for the faint hearted. This is for people who want to use this for options trading and who want to use it for day trading and analyzing stocks in a unique way. You'll get access to the Google sheet and you'll get access to this Excel file. So what does this Excel file tell you? Well, it I, because I have target prices and notes in here and I review it frequently, I'm going to review Beyond Meat today to kind of explain to you how this works. Because Moderna, I really like, and we'll talk about that in subsequent videos next week. I highly um, recommend buying options in Moderna right now. I think they're, I'll talk about it more later, but they're great. Tesla, I always talk about being great. Walmart, I, I talk about frequently also being great. But I want to talk about Beyond Meat because they showed up on this list. So what happened today or over the last couple of days was the Beyond Meat Company, which makes the plant-based food alternatives, they announced earnings and their earnings were not good. Now, the last time I had reviewed this company in this file was April 29th of last year. Well, I just reviewed it today now. So this goes green, meaning I've reviewed this company recently. Because their earnings are poor, 
uh, and they're super volatile stock. You see, I had them at $120 a share max price. They, they were hanging out around 150 or so for a lot of the last several months. I knew this, this company is extremely volatile and doesn't really have earnings. So now they've dropped down to $110 a share, which is why they're showing up so high on this list. Because I'm sorting this list by best value right now. That's what this percent ceiling price is, is the best value, meaning the comparing the share price to what I think the target price is. Where are their deals? That's what this is doing. I'm gonna hide this for a second. So Moderna, I think will go to at least 200 a share in the reasonably near future. Tesla, I think will go to 800 a share in the reasonably near future. Beyond me, I don't think they're gonna, they're gonna be going up above 120 again in the near future. I actually think that they're only a deal below hundred now because their earnings were poor uh, they have competitors like Impossible Foods, I think it is. Um, even though Beyond Meat has a lot of deals with large chains, they're just, I, I don't like the way they run the company with earnings. They're spending too much. And so I think this brings this price down. And so every day or every week that you subscribe to this file, I'm going to be updating all these companies and reviewing their financials and doing what I do as, as a, as year, with my years of accounting economics experience, reviewing financial statements to figure out which best companies are still remaining on this list and make notes. So I will say poor earnings, 2021 Q1, too volatile to purchase right now also. So even though their target's 100, I, I don't like them right now. They got to show me some profits in the future. So this file has, a, a, has 1,500 different companies in it. And I've reviewed and have target prices on, on 41 of them. Uh, but I will be adding to that list and I'll also be adding any companies that are not on this list. If you purchase a subscription to this, uh, I'll, I'll add any of those companies that are not on the list that you want me to, and I will review them as well. So we'll get, get have a full list. So Katrina, what questions do you have about what I just said? Oh, uh. Let's see. Um, no, have you have you uh, explained everything on this sheet uh, in a previous video or no? Not, not too much. No, there, there's a lot going on in this file. So, yeah. it, what it is is it grabs all of the stock data from this other file, which is the Google Sheet file. I have all the lists uh, of all the stocks and their names that that I track. There's only 1,500. I said in here. There's more than that. There's like 3,000 or something. But some of them go in, in and out, and some of them are in industries that I refuse to invest in, like oil, just not into certain things. And so I just remove them from the list. I grab all this information, bring it into this Excel file, and the Excel file then connects it to the historical information that I have added to about each company. So the notes, the target prices, um, all those things are, are rolled in so that this automatically updates, and then you can just sort by this. And you get all the companies in the best order to purchase. This is this is the order, um, and and so it just becomes very helpful because as the prices change, this order changes, right? Like Beyond Meat was all the way up here before we changed and edited this. You know, Beyond Meat was all the way up here. Now that where are they? Now they're way down here. They're in 18th place or 17th place. So. This file is just really helpful if, if you're interested in, in investing in the broader market as a whole and looking at the way different sectors are working, for example. So this is a, a pivot table that breaks everything down by sector. And you can look and say, you know, different industries that had good days, like I think it was DraftKings that probably had a good day. Or, yeah. Nikola had a good day today. They shouldn't. though. They stink. <laughs> Don't invest in them. Schrodinger had a good day. They're a genetic uh, modeling company. Um, healthcare industry, we have all the different healthcare companies and how they did today. Um, Mednax apparently went up 20%. So I'd review a company like Mednax. I probably don't have any notes on them. Getting pushed out due to Rona overload due to elective. Okay. So here's what happened. This is great to, to check this out. This company Mednax, I have a note on Mednax and let's see how, how old my notes are. Mednax. Bednax, um, my note says stay away from them. And I reviewed them in April 22nd of last year. I said they're getting pushed out due to Rona overload. So what that means is 
because of the coronavirus, this medical company does something that is involved with more traditional medical care that was being uh, like everything was going to COVID care back then. So they're a company like Innovative Surgical or whatever that had their product or their service um, kind of slowed down due to the coronavirus and now they are rebounding. So I would, do, I would say that they're going to be on a rebound right now. And then I'll do a more of a review of the financials of this company to add to the notes, need to update notes, right? So that's the kind of work that I do on a weekly basis for all the companies and send this out to people um, to subscribe. That's the, that's the kind of work that we're doing. But it's really interesting to see this because I, I have looked at, uh, last year I looked at all 3000 companies that were on the list and look, reviewed all their financials. Like it took several months, um, but it did go through everything. So I have an idea of every company that's on the exchange that hasn't been added in the past year. I'm missing some that have been added and need to do that. So anyway, yeah, that, that's like, that's a quick breakdown of what's in this data sheet. Um, we're going to be doing updates every day. This, the stock market tracker is my new project of the day. Uh, sports algorithms are just, there's just too much work for too little benefit. The stock market application is there's just immense upside um, paying attention to this and also monitoring what is happening in the world. This is a gauge for keeping an eye on the world economy and how we operate. So it's pretty cool. That's actually a great point. <laughs> oh yeah. No, it's really fun to, to review these sectors and stuff. And, and, and I'll probably end up adding every single company here, really, even if I don't want to have notes on them, just so you can really see how all the sectors intermingle. And you're going to learn things every day. You're going to see stocks that have wild swings all the time and, and dig through their financials. It's really fascinating. Um, I had not ever really been interested in this before the pandemic, but with no sports and anything, I just became interested in this and realized that it's, it's a great way to make money and, and, and learn about what's going on. Yeah. So, yeah. So we're down a ton. Um, it's okay. It happens. It's options. Um, but yeah. we're not going to be down a ton forever. Yeah. Um, I think, uh, I think we should uh, get everybody in on uh, investing in options, especially now with the current with the, with the pandemic still kind of going on. Right. And uh, yeah. everybody's sitting around doing nothing. <laughs> oh yeah. And <laughs> that, and also there's, there's one main reason why, why there's like a, there's a reason why it's a good idea to get into the market. The, the Federal Reserve is still buying, I think I heard, something like $1.2 billion in securities every quarter or every year. It's, I think it's every quarter, which means they're continuing to pump their fake check money into the market. And that is going to continue to, to lead to, like the best phrase to put it, the way to put it is to say that the winners are going to keep on winning, meaning all of these companies that are making money hand over fist and have connections in the government and have established businesses that are surviving in, in the pandemic, they're going to continue to accrete and to add to their value because there's a lot of fake money in the system now, which is leading to the inflation. So on a day like today, where the top 10 stocks that I have in the Google sheet, you can see that today, I think eight of the top 10 all went up. Yep. Eight of the top, eight of the 10 here went in, went up. And the two that went down were Amazon and Walmart very, very slightly. And we had things like your intuitive surgical was one of the biggest gainers of our list today. Schrodinger, more genetic healthcare stuff. Moderna, well, Moderna just keeps going up all the time. They had one or two days down when Biden announced that he was going to try to waive patents they have to the rest of the country, the rest of the world. Uh, I'm not worried about that explain why I'll talk about modernity here for a second. I'm not worried about the waiving of patents and potential loss of royalties because here's why I'm not worried about it with Moderna. Moderna's product is very unique in the way that they construct it at the molecular level. So even if you're going to waive the patents that they have, the other countries, the other companies in those other countries as well, do not have the technical know-how or the wherewithal to generate the vaccine in the same manner that they do and to replicate it, which means they're going to have to license that type of technology and expertise from Moderna. So even though you're going to waive the patents, you're going to still see a windfall of other licensing and, and intellectual uh, property being transferred and paid for by these other companies. Because you know what the world wants? It's a working vaccine. And Moderna's boosters are working great and everything. I love the way that they do this. This is so pioneering what they're doing that the value of this company, even though they're not profitable yet, is massively undervalued. They, they have a genetic model to cure viral diseases and other types of diseases to inoculate from everything. Pick a disease 
they're going to be able to inoculate it um, with with a with a mRNA designed vaccine that your immune system probably can handle pretty well. And it's going to be like, get rid of everything bad, get rid of not just measles, mumps, rubella, but get rid of HIV, get rid of every herpes, get rid of everything, <laughs> get rid of it all. And they're, they're a company that, that has pioneered how to do that because this is 2020 and we do things differently at the molecular level now. So that's why they just, people realize this and they just keep going up. I mean, that's the next option that I want you to buy is I want you to buy a Moderna and I'll give you the limit option for that uh, before Monday. And you can start putting in an order to try to get that. Because had we bought one when they were back at like 140 or something a few weeks ago, we mentioned it, you'd probably be up a few hundred dollars at least, or maybe even a thousand dollars already. Um, so that will be the next thing to do. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Although I did go to the doctor today and um, uh, I'm not sure if it's going to affect any, just the, all the vaccine stocks in general, but they said that they were thinking about stopping all those uh, vaccine sites, um, I think, uh, because like people aren't really interested in getting the vaccines. Yes. So I don't know how that's going to affect the stocks, but just something so, to. I'm not interested in getting the vaccine either. I think it'd be fine <laughs> without it. However, I'm going to get the Moderna vaccine. Because I have friends and family and everyone, and the question they're always asking me is, "What? Are you? Have you been vaccinated? <laughs> have you been vaccinated? Not even are you vaccinated? It's have you been vaccinated yet?" And I have enough faith in what Moderna does to accept the the mild side effects from it. And you, I, you, whether we're going to have vaccine cards or not, we're going to you're going to see more people getting it, even if the the vaccine sites aren't filled. It'll be a slower process, but everyone's pretty much going to get it. And it's not just about COVID. It's about all those other viruses that we want to inoculate against as well. Once people develop the, the faith in Moderna's product and how they do it and that they'll want that one, that just I mean, the sky's the limit on, on, on the way we're going to vaccinate going forward. The people, the anti-vaxxers, people who think that vaccines are bad for you, they, they have not lived through pandemics that really like measles pandemics and things like they, they just don't get it. Um, vaccines, they work and the, the Moderna vaccines work even better. <laughs> so that's why you're going to want it. Um, yeah. Yeah. There's, there's no stopping what they're doing. Uh, there will be more deadly viruses. We're going to have to respond to them quickly. Moderna's going to be the type of company that we're all going to be dumping money into and saying, please give us the product. Please, please synthesize your vaccine as fast as possible and get it out to many people as fast as possible. That's going to be a continuing issue with them. Um, and it's, it's fantastic for their stock because I mean, what kind of price do you put on human life? Like, I think we learned that in the pandemic is that we're willing to close down almost everything except the fast food joints <laughs> and, uh, and the hospitals. We're going to close down everything else. Um, <laughs> if we don't, if we, if we feel sick or we're going to get sick. So yeah, all right. That is the update for stocks. We got anything else to say, everybody? It's a long video, but it's good. No, it's a good update. No. Every day, every day next week, stock video. Okay. That's what all we're right. gonna do. Yep. We're gonna do some active trading. It's gonna be an active week. I'll probably get on the road next week too, so I'll do some videos for different parts of the country. Maybe I'll okay. go visit some of these companies. Should we do that? Should we go visit yeah. some companies? <laughs> we'll have to look at the list. All right. <laughs> anyway, well, that's our stock update for the day. Go into Intuitive Surgical, go Tesla, go Moderna. There's no stopping them anyway. And um, stay away from Beyond Meat. Although I had a Beyond Meat, Beyond Sausage Sandwich at Dunkin' Donuts today, and it was pretty good. So <laughs> it's all right. All right. All right. Ooh. Katrina? Yeah. We'll talk to everybody later. Okay. See you all guys right. soon.